In this video guys, we're spending 100 days as Zenitsu Akatsuma from Demon Slayer on Demon 4 Roblox. But before we start this video guys, make sure to subscribe. I am trying to hit 80,000 subscribers before the end of the summer, so subscribing would be very, very appreciated. Alright, the first thing that we need to do is get Zenitsu's clan, which is the Agatsuma. A 2% clan, so it should not be that difficult to get. I'm hoping our luck is good enough for us to get it straight off the bat without having to spend Robux on some spins. But you already know, if you've watched my other videos, I never get it off the bat at all, ever. Kanzaki, and then the last and final one, we've got two comments. At least give me something that's a 2% just to, to boost our luck a little bit. Come on, give me something. Okay, another, oh, another common man. Come on, game. And I guess we're going to have to go and start spending Robux. First three spins that we're going to purchase, please, game. Do not shaft me. Alright, Izui clan, not bad, not bad, but it's still a common. Four commons in a row. Please, at least just give me a rare before. Oh, another Izui, two Izuis in a row. Okay, we did get, oh, we got, a, oh, we got an uncommon, but it's not the one that we want. That's unfortunate, I guess we're going to have to keep on spinning. I've literally got every single rare clan except for Agatsuma, which is so irritating. But, okay, last Robux left, and I don't think we're going to get anything, so we're going to have to buy even more. And the last and final spin, one more chance, and absolutely, did we get it? Oh, another Izui, man. Man, I've spun so much and I've literally got nothing. Got so many rares. Finally, man, finally got the clan. And now, probably, maybe even the harder part, trying to look like Zenitsu. Yeah, this is going to be very, very, very difficult. Yeah, this fit is questionable, I can't lie, but that's the best we can do. Alright, okay, we spawned in the cutscene. I already got a move already. Okay, I shouldn't have taken too long. Okay, yeah, I forgot about Zenitsu's mode. That's actually really, really clean. Okay, completely forgot that we get like a like a mode with this um, the clan. What just happened? I I literally didn't do anything and I just failed. There's no way that just happened. I literally didn't do anything. No way. Oh, I have to I have to get probably like a white potion or something. Oh, I also got his wig and everything. Oh, that's perfect. We didn't even have to like do his hair. But that is horrendous. I literally did not press anything. Can we even purchase one? Oh, we can't even purchase one. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go and get a, we're gonna have to go and get a white potion very, very quickly. All right, let's try that again. I, I'm hoping this time it doesn't, for some reason, glitch like last time. Wow, that was very, very weird. All right, hopefully now it works. All right, okay, perfect, it's worked. You know what? I'm gonna use my mode here and just kill this guy with the mode. What just happened again? Finally, we did it, man. I had to literally switch accounts. And I finally killed this guy. Alright, we finished talking to the uncle and now we have to go 3,000 studs to the lady over there. Right, we finally arrived to the old lady and Kohan sent me. Yes, yes, yes. I wanna get this. Alright, not this guy. Okay, there's other retired Hashra of Lightning. He must be in the house at the coast of the forest. Yeah, that's the guy that we are looking for. Sakura Passage, final selection and goodbye. First things first, I do wanna go to Gutaro just to see if he is low because I just want to get like a, a couple of free levels just off the bat and if people are killing him we might as well go to him and just get some free levels all right this guy does not look like he's glitched which is perfect and there's people fighting him which is even better he is level one okay he's not low at all though which is very very unfortunate so I think I'm just gonna tell a lot of people from the discord to come just so we can like kill this guy really really quickly and yeah i'll see you guys once he is dead all right okay gutaro is very very close to dying and i realized why i died twice whilst we were trying to kill the first demon like the start of the video it's because of this mode right here sleepy awake apparently after we use it after the like the 45 seconds are up of the mode we die instantly but this mode can revive us once we're like if we're really really low we can use this mode and it will be able to revive us and stuff which is very very cool and I don't know what the guy's doing to me there, but it's very, very cool. And yeah, that's why we died twice. And everyone's just chasing this guy. I do want to get close to him. So when he does die, we might like, we might be able to like snag a Muzan potion. All right, he died and we got so much stuff. And we actually did snag the Muzan potion and the thing that he has too. This guy's probably going to finish me. But it doesn't matter, it's actually saving because time. But okay, we gained so many levels of that. I think we gained like 15 or 16 levels, which is very, very good. All right, okay, level 16. That's not too shabby at all. And we need to actually start picking up trinkets from now because the quest line to get Thunder Breathing is we need like 400 coins first of all to buy, I think it's 20 soup. But then after that we need to like send a letter and then we need another extra 4,000 yen afterwards just to pay the guy. So just so we can teach us Thunder Breathing. So we're going to need that around 5,000 give or take. So a perfect crystal from that infamous bush would be so, so clutch. So I'm just going to go there and just check it out. Even if we get like an emerald, 
that can also sell for 3.5 thousand that would be very very good too and absolutely nothing and then we'll go to here at least it'd be that's something okay perfect so a bit of trinkets but yeah guys all i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna be hopping servers until we get enough cash to be able to pay the guy and stuff and also get some food and stuff so a perfect crystal lot too should be very very good so yeah i'll catch you guys after we get like a good amount of money all right guys so we managed to get a decent amount of stuff i think the green jewel is going to be the thing that's going to carry us but this should amount to more than four thousand i'm hoping and plus we need and i think we need around four thousand four thousand five hundred so this should amount to that all right please do not disappoint me merchants and i want to sell my trinkets okay 5.5 thousand is perfect because we need to buy a lot of soup okay that should be enough plus so because we need some of course for us to eat and now we have to travel and find the guy. He says it's like the coastal area. So he is, I think, very, very close to Okia village. So I am just going to go there and just make my way from there. Just try and find my way. Could be mistaken, but I think I remember it being somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Is that the small house? If it is, bro, okay. Is that it? I think it might be. Okay, there's a trinket right here. Let me just pick it up. But is it this house? Yes, sir. Yes. How are you doing, bro? How are you doing? All right. Okay. Welcome to my house. I came here to learn thunder breathing. I can teach you, but I have a few tasks for you. I'm up for it. The first and most important, I want you to bring me 20 delicious soup. Okay. Um, on my way. And then, okay, there we go. Yes, take it. Good job. There's one more thing I need from you. What is it? I want you to take to the slave's base to deliver this confidential message specifically to Chad Mustache Guy named Marone to the slave's base. Okay. Okay. I'm on my way. Right, okay, this is the secret message, and I think we have to just go back and go to the slave's base. But I'm probably just going to reset, just because it's going to be a lot faster. Because I can just use the, the traveling guy to go there. Now, let's, before we go to the slave's base, I'm curious on Gutaro's health. If he's, like, kind of relatively low, we might as well just stay there and get some more free XP. But, okay, he is glitched, so let's just go back to the corpse. Now that we have made it to the slave's base, finding Marone might be a problem. I think it's this guy right here, surely. This guy looks like Marone. Yes, he, okay, he actually is, okay. Alright, uh, okay, send me. I'll head back to him now, and now I have to head back to the guy. Alright, okay, Gramps. Um, I'm ready. Okay, of course, okay, what do you want to do? Okay, I'll get your money. And my money's gone, so that means I'm guessing we have lightning breathing. Yep, we have the first move already. We don't even have to, like, learn it. And lightning breathing is actually really, really cool. There we go, such a clean move. To be honest, the only reason I did this video is because of that one scene in the Infinity Castle where Zenitsu is just like locked in. I was like, you know what, I might as well make a Zenitsu video literally from that one scene because the guy looks so, so cold. But yeah, Lightning Breathing is extremely, extremely clean. And let's check, okay, can we upgrade this one here? I do want to change this all the way to the end because I'm not going to use the Sleep It Awake that much. But yeah, this look at, let me see the next move. Next move, I can't use it unless there's somebody actually next to me, which is really, really cool. That means, like, auto-tracks. Now, since we do have all this, we might as well go to the final selection because we have our breathing. And we are right next to Okia, okay, which is very, very convenient because the final selection exam is very, very close to here. All right, just have to talk to these two girls. Okay, I'm here to do the exam. And they're going to send me straight in. Okay, all I have to do is just avoid the blue demon and we should be good. All right, first demon encounter. Okay, there's a bunch of these guys here. And I'm just, oh no, one of them is an Akaza demon, man. That's going to be annoying, but I'm just going to hit them with this. Boom, there we go. Got them, all three of them hit them with this. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Hit them with this. This is the cleanest move by far, man. If it just one-shots those guys, that would have been so good. Gonna hit the Akaza, gonna have to hit the Akaza demon so much, man. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, bro, I'm getting toyed with. I just need to go into an infinite combo there. I'm just gonna have to hit them with that. I'm just gonna have to keep on hitting them with breathings until they somehow die. Oh, but they okay. They got oh, wow. They got fully like fully one shotted from that. Okay, that's actually really really nice. This Ak is a demon, man. Is this gonna kill him? Oh, never mind. Just got fully cancelled out by this guy. There we go. Finally, this guy, man. This guy has so much HP. I do need to buy lunge though. If I do have enough skill points. Oh, lunge is here. I'm just so dumb. Okay. Oh, lunges too. No. Okay, we won't be able to get it just yet. All right, we've got four more demons left, and that's an Akaza demon. I'm actually going to just avoid that guy. We've got four more demons left, and this is, has been a very, very, very nice breathe, and I kind of so, so clean, especially the second move that I use. It just fully insta-finishes them, which is so satisfying. Okay, so that blue guy 
Bro, another demon with the power. Oh my god, relax. Because, yeah, if we, get, if we get caught in a combo like that again, I think we die. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to relax, actually. Is that going to insta-kill? Okay, that insta-killed all of them except for the two, like, special demons. Okay, this guy's going to use his move. Yeah, predicted him. There we go. Things are blocked, but uh, for some reason, every single time, it just doesn't work. Like, it's so delayed. It's no, uh, I at least you seen that last second. Alright, is this gonna kill them? Please do. Wow, bro, they've got so much HP. Okay, my HP is getting dangerously close to zero. I'm on 10 HP. No, oh my god, okay, that is not looking too good. I'm on 10 HP. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, any hit of them is gonna kill me instantly. I right, hit him with this. Is this gonna at least kill one of them? I hit him with the wrong move. And it kills them both. Perfect. Alright. Finish this Akaza Demon. The guy gave me so much trouble. And there we go. Congratulations. You have finished the Slayer exam successfully. Welcome to the Slayer Cops. That was actually very, very easy until that last second. But before that, I was literally breezing through this. Alright, now we're actually looking a lot like Zenitsu with the Slayer Corpse costume. But first of all, we need to go and craft our Slayer Nishirin. And I want to forge an item. Slayer Nishirin Forge. There we go. Alright, okay. What colour have we got? Okay, is that pink? Not too shabby, not too shabby actually. But now that we have that, we need to of course obtain the Thunder Nishirin. And how much is that going to be? Thunder Nishirin. Okay, the first one, yeah, of course, going to have a Crystal Essence, Sun Ore, and Forge for 10,000 yen. So we're going to need a bunch, a bunch of perfect crystals to be able to afford the Crystal Essence, plus to be able to afford the 10,000 yen to forge it. And we need 20 Sun Ore, which we can easily get from just going to the caves uh, with a pickaxe and just mining it. So first things first, we are going to do that because that is the easiest part. Right, I want to buy a pickaxe. There we go. And now that we purchased a pickaxe, we just need to go to the Zenitsu cave. We have to avoid this Zenitsu boss. Do not notice this. And of course he does. He's going to use his move anytime soon. I'm going to have to get close to him. So I just dodge it. There we go. But that guy, if we could just get the cape for him, his cloak. But unfortunately, it's not in the game for some reason. Things first, we have to check the spot for the perfect crystal. Because you never know. We might get one. And... Nothing has spawned. Okay, that's not bad. But there's no way there's no sun or in this cave. There's literally no ore at all in this cave. Wow. This cave is a lot, lot better. Let's just get our pickaxe out and start mining. Is anything spawned there? Nope. And there's any more sun ore here? No. And there's a little bit right here. That's perfect. And I think we took it all. How much sun ore did we get from this one? Okay, we've got six and we need 20. So this should not take us too long. Alright guys, and we've managed to get the 20 Sun Ore, and whilst we were doing that, like server hopping for the Sun Ore, we literally got Perfect Crystal and a Green Jewel. From this cave over there, just from that spot over there, which is really, really good. So all I'm going to do guys now, since we do need a bunch of cash for the Crystal Essence to trade, plus for the 10,000 to forge the item, we are just going to, um, just going to be server hopping until we manage to get like another Perfect Crystal, uh, or maybe even maybe two perfect crystals and yeah i'll catch you guys once we do all right guys and just like that we managed to get i think a decent amount we got two green jewels we got a perfect crystal we have a bunch of gold crowns we have one ancient coin this all should add up to a decent amount we should have way more than enough to get the perfect crystal plus to be able to craft the thunder katana or the thunder nishirin i'm using the discord server just to check out some trades and i've got one trade and it's i think four thousand for a crystal essence which is a very very good deal and there's actually no point of me thinking I just need to reset. Alright, can we join this guy's private server that we're meant to trade with? But before that, I think I'm just going to drop one of my green jewels here just to save it for later. And now I'm going to sell. I want to sell all my trinkets. Yeah, we get 12,000, which is not enough. So we're going to have to pick it up and sell that too. And I want to sell my trinkets. Okay, we've got 15,000 because we need to give 4,000 to the guy. Plus, we need 10,000 to craft it. Alright, okay, let's see. And there we go very very easy and efficient got the crystal essence and now we need to travel to the slayer cops real quickly before we leave that we lose that 10,000 can actually also unlock another move i just realized i'm gonna unlock the second form rice spirit okay oh why is there a blue demon following me but this move i'm not too sure if it's actually even any good all right blacksmith i want to forge an item and thunder nishirin forge there we go and now we're left with a measly one 
thousand. It's not changed yet. I think we need to travel first and then it will change. And whilst we are going to go travel, we're going to go to Kamakura just so we can get the stone. Just so we can perfect our breathing. Because right now, every time we breathe, it goes down very, very, very fast. But of course, if we do perfect our breathing, this counter will never go down once we like hold our breath, basically. So I am just going to go to Kamakura real quick. Okay, still not changed yet. I think we have to probably leave service. So I'll do that later. But first of all, talk to this guy. Buy the massive stone. And yes, sir. Okay, our cash is running really, really low. And I'm just going to equip this onto Z. And basically, what I'm going to do, guys, now is just going to keep on balancing this rock until we get perfect breathing. And whilst I'm doing this, I'm probably just going to keep on server hopping until we find some, like, Utaros in our game. Just so we can get, like, an extra level or two. But yeah, I'll catch you guys once I've perfected my breathing. Alright, guys, so we've managed to perfect our breathing. So every time now we breathe, it just, the counter never goes down. We've also managed to unlock every single one of the moves. So the, the last move is actually probably one of the best ones. I think that's only the one that has like the potential to combo extend basically. And since we have unlocked every single move, we might as well go and fight. Go to the ranked TVP and fight somebody just to see and check out how good the breathing truly truly is. I'm very very curious to see how good this is. Alright okay we got matched up. I'm hoping the guy has like a similar breathing to me. Or something that's similar because lightning breathing in PVP. I'll be real, it's not, it's not really the best. Alright, okay, let's take out our katana. Also, the katana is so clean. Probably my favorite looking katana in the game. It's very, very nice. Okay, the guy's got fire or sun. To be honest, I can't tell the difference between that, like, from here. But I'm pretty sure that it's probably fire. And it's sun. Okay. To be honest, I don't know what to do here. I right, got him in a, a, a one move. I right, got him, got him in another combo. Hit him with this. Oh, my breathing wasn't ready. Okay. This is, um, like, that move there is just awful. Like, I don't know how to, like, land it ever. Same with that. Okay, I don't think that move hit. My more po most powerful move did not hit. All right, okay, at least I hit him with that move there. He's already unlocked his Slayer mark. Bro, I didn't even hit you for that much. All right, there we go. Hit him a bit. Oh, I've actually already... Oh, my God, okay, I've already killed him first first time. To be honest, I am very, very, very bad at lightning breathing. I, I can't even, like, I don't see the potential of any combos with lightning breathing, if I'm being honest. Like, even the even my most like powerful moves are all blockable. Okay, hit him with that. Okay, that move just didn't hit. Like, the only move that's kind of got a combo to it is that move there. But even that one is not that great, to be honest. Okay, hit him with this. Oh, okay, I nearly got him another combo. Like, that, like, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just gonna hit him. Ah, oh, he's used his thingy move. I'm gonna rush to him, though. Boom. And my rush didn't even work. That's nice. And then hit him with this. Oh, no. Okay, he was able to escape it. There we go. Okay, second round goes to me too. I don't think this guy has that much HP, I'll be honest. But he has to have at least prestige 1 with 50. I think level 50 to be able to, be able to unlock Sun. I just want to hit... I want to see if this actual, this actual combo works. Oh, just, let me just get close to him. Hit him with it. Oh. Okay, let's not get close to that ring. I want to see if this just one move combo works. Uh, let me just. Okay, I'm getting too greedy here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just hit with this. Is this gonna? Is this gonna hit? That did hit. And if I use my six. Okay, there we go. We actually wake up. And okay, hit him with this. There we go. And also, when I hit him, like I do way more damage. Okay, I need to finish him ASAP before I also die. But yeah, I do I think 50% more damage and I get 20% of my HP back once we do unlock this. So every time we die, we can use it. It's actually like so overpowered. To be honest, that breathing was not too shabby. It was okay. Against the Sun Breather 2, we actually did not that bad. But with Lightning Breathing, there's literally absolutely zero, zero combos you can actually do. And you know what? To end off the video, we might as well do a mission. I've not done one of those like crow missions in a very, very long time. So next time the crow pops up, we might as well go and do a mission. All right, okay, we finally got a good one. Okay, we need to save... Uh, village raided by demons. Okay, I'm hoping it's not too far away. Thousand studs, not too shabby. Right, okay, we're arriving to the village, and to be honest, I can't even see any demons. Thing is, it's literally daytime, so they're just gonna get destroyed by the sun. Um, oh, there's there's two demons here. You know what? We're gonna stay in the shade here just so we can kill them without the sun's help. And uh, never mind, the sun just insta kills them the second that they step in it. And that was literally very, very, very easy. And this last and final one. But yeah guys, that has been the video of me spending 100 days as is in it. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below what other Demon Slayer characters you want me to do. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day guys. And peace out guys. Peace out.